trap call me. Do you want my soul? And like, uh, Queen, what's going on, baby? I hear that you out here telling people I set you up. I'm like, I just know how to go with my intuition. Make sure y'all watch who y'all believe in. Watch what y'all believe. Before you go chasing something to believe in, have knowledge about at least the foundation of that. Plot and making plays, I'm the puppet master handler. Trap out kitchen, I like a new character. Free of charge, let me show these demons and fallen angels is really gone. Put me in charge. Now the white keepers out in the spell, but I pity the four eyes part of the town. Watch how you move when you climb up that ladder. I was talking to Nika and she was like, Sandy yeah. was trying to make it seem like that y'all had such a close relationship. I'm like, close relationship? I don't really know that bitch like that. Like, she like, yeah, she was trying to make it seem like y'all had a closer relationship than her and I. And I'm like, what? Sit the fuck down, Nika. What is the problem? <laughs> Once again, Nika is comparing herself to me. I don't want no relationship with you, Katita. And I didn't even then. I was just trying to be a nice person. The reason why Trigger and Nika into it. I said, no, nah, Trigger is the reason why him and Nika into it. Because he said he fucked her. Yeah, I did say that. She was like, yeah, she, um, she said, did Queen tell you about Trap? And I'm like, did I tell you about Trap? I said, what about Trap? I said, Trap House? Because people are saying my name in a public manner. I have to address it in, as such. Cause yeah. I only told one person. 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 That person had to tell somebody else for you to talk to him unless you talk to that person. Only me and my daughter and Trap know about that. So how the fuck would she know about that? Only me and my daughter and Trap know about that. So how the fuck would she know about that? Cause I only told one person. I only told one person. Cause I only told one person. Well, 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 Quatita, you're the only spiritual leader whatever you want to call yourself that is always in drama and mess do you guys remember when i posted this picture and i aired this episode as well and i was like quotita called me i spoke with quotita last night she didn't call me but i did speak with her also people was like why is nico on that picture you guys might have didn't understand why nico was on that picture but quotita sure did in the phone call it was myself and Trap House Kitchen. I explained to him that I had blocked him and then I just didn't mess with him at all. And I did not want to have any type of business relationship with him because I was told by Quatita that she did not trust him and that she, he had previously tried to set her up before. So me thinking, you know, trusting her, as most of you guys still do, as most of us have done, I thought that, you know, she was legit. She was true. She's a woman. She went through a traumatic experience, uh, not exactly with him, but with someone that knows him. And I was like, no, uh, we just not going to do it. So now I'm realizing that Cotita is a liar. Cotita doesn't remember nothing that she doesn't say. In the midst of that phone call, Trap calls Cotita on three-way. Immediately, she starts blaming that bitch Nika and Sin came up with that story. I never told nobody that. And I was confused and amused that she would try to throw Nika under the bus in this conversation. In Quatita, I told you, I was like, the worst and best thing that you can do is to deny any of this because we have it recorded. We have the audio on Friday, I said it's party time. And Quatita thought that I was going to drop the audio then. So she immediately took to her YouTube to do a video telling her side of the story. When in reality, they was discussing some stuff that I didn't want to discuss. So I was never planning to drop the audio. I was never even going to say exactly what was on the phone call. But she, so busy trying to play checkers with me she went and told on herself in doing that the same story that i told trap that she told to me she got up there and said that same story again and then proceeded to say how she didn't trust the situation or that made her not even trust trap so you basically proved my point that you did tell me that story the whole thing was, how would I know that this ever even happened? I'm not a reader. 
I'm not a psychic. I don't claim to be any of those things. How would I know that unless Quasita told it to me? In the beginning of this video, she said I only told one person. But then she comes and say, oh, the only people that know that is me, my daughter, and Trap. No, maybe the one person that you told is me, Quasita. You forgot. But she's, ex she's explaining how she tried to go score something. And y'all know what scoring something is. But yet I'm on drugs. But you've never heard of me go and score anything. But she's trying to go score something. And she felt like that person was giving her the runaround. But yet they still served her. And she's still alive. And that person just so happened to know Trap House Kitchen. So now she felt like he was after her. But you try to make fun of me, so my old she think people after her, people follow her. But yet you have been on a run for damn near a year. You've been on a run for damn near a year. So don't dare sit up there and talk about me in no type of light. And then I don't, I don't like Nika. She's in the same boat as Quasita. But for you to try to throw Nika under the bus, it's ridiculous. And I don't know what you and Nika have going on, but Nika is the source of the whole problem with me and you could see the period. Because after the show, I blocked y'all. You wasn't talking to Nika. She thought that I had been talking to you. She thought that you had said forget her and you was moving on with me, but sitting on swing that way. Oh, she thought that me and you had, uh, uh, uh she thought she was trying to explain that you and her. You and her had a closer relationship than you and I. Bitch, I didn't have a relationship with none of y'all. I don't even know what type of relationship y'all talking about. Seek help. Stop comparing yourself to me. I don't want to have nothing to do with none of y'all with this BS that y'all have going on and everything else that I'm seeing. Y'all have a whole relationship relationship going on. But again, you trust the Nika to come tell you some stuff about me. It's crazy that ever since Nika started popping up in Quatita chats, ever since Nika started just having anything to do with Quatita in outside groups, all of a sudden Quatita falls out with certain people because it's Nika going back telling her daddy, a.k.a. Quatita Dean, what's going on and twisting up stories because she want to be the money Maya. But that's neither here nor there. Let's hop into Trap to his side of this contraption. Queen asked if I would help her with her YouTube. All I do is tell people I'll help them with their YouTube. We were supposed to meet at Starbucks. Trap had called me one day and he was like, where you at, Queen? I told the nigga I was in Indiana. Because ain't nothing on nobody's fucking business where I'm at. She stood me up. I didn't text her or no nothing. I just let it go. I was cool. Like, okay, cool. So then I'm live one day and all them minions come to my live like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen looking for you. Why you, why you, queen looking for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen looking for you. Go to your live. Go to queen live. She said, come to her live. Queen looking for you. She mad at you. And we mad at you too. Ain't it though? Always them damn demons running around trying to help a faculty that don't even know what they're getting themselves into and look stupid every time. So I go over there just like this. Queen, what's up with all your people come to my live? Trap, I just blah, blah, blah. Nah, hold on. We were supposed to link. You stood me up and ain't reached back out. Oh, I sure did. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Like you, I, the queen feel like you're trying to set her the fuck up. Nah, it's cool. So then time go on, we aim for a second time. Queen tells me um, the day we supposed to, to link up, she tells me, yeah, I'm on the way back from Indiana. I say, cool, just let me know and we'll meet at Starbucks. So check this out. I get a call from one of my little niggas. Hey, big bro, guess who I just served? I'm like, who you just served? What's up? What's happening, my nigga? You good? This nigga like, man, I just served Queen. I said, Queen? I just served Queen Domain. I just served her. Where you at right now? Are you in Ohio? Are you in Kentucky? Which of the two places are you at? This boy told me Kentucky. 
So why are you gonna call me telling me you ready to link? You coming to link up with me? You're in Indiana, but my homeboy in Kentucky just sold you some Louisville, Kentucky. So I text her, "Hey Queen, watch them niggas out there in Louisville, because they playing the game raw how we play it in Cincinnati." I didn't get a message back for like forty minutes. Then the call that I got was like, I'm so sorry, this and that, this and that. Woo, woo, woo. I say, look, man, lie to the judge, lie to the police. You ain't got to lie to me. Because when you was talking about you got to go do this and you got to do that, I'm telling you to come pick up some AK, come pick up some pistols, come get you some ammunition, come arm yourself. That I did. I told that black woman that was fighting this spiritual war with Karen Civil and all them on the run to come arm herself. Better than me, Trap. I'd have told that bitch, get it how you live, ho. Get it how the fuck you live. She always running them out about somebody, putting them out on people like a nigga ain't gonna do nothing to fucking touch her. Snitching ass bitch. Back to the story. So she get to apologizing. And I'm just like, Queen, you know I scramble your thoughts. <laughs> You know I scramble your thoughts. I'm like, mm. so how you say they did in Atlanta. You know I scramble your thoughts. You know my energy is greater than yours, or at the same level. That's why you fuck with me. Do you want my soul? Do you want my soul? Because all you talked about in that interview was a soul for a soul, a soul for a soul. How did these people come to kill you? But you left the building. But in the interview, you didn't say how you left the building. So you had to promise them that same energy. You had to replace your soul or your energy with one greater than or equal. And I let that shit go. I've never posted a reading. No, none of that shit. Everybody tried to place me with her and everything. No, I'm me. I'm not no spiritual nothing. I'm a nigga that been through some shit. Like I'm broken so she could heal him. Period. I know how to recognize intuition from within. I don't know about this leg by. I don't know about Yehuda. I don't know about that. Nobody does. She made Yahuda up. Was that my location? I'm never going to tell you my location. Okay, so you never gonna tell nobody no no your location, but I was supposed to tell her who told me that she was talking about me. Why didn't you just read it? Why did you have to ask me anything and you couldn't just be like, okay? That's who told you. Cause I talked to Nika. So who the fuck called you? He said, Nika, who is that? I said, who the fuck told you the story? Cause I talked to Nika, so he told you. Come on, man. Why? Wow. So I said I'm in Indiana, and so I. I told y'all. She said, "Man, I ain't gotta be careful with nothing." Like I told her, you know what my energy do? I'm a bad motherfucker. I scramble you. I don't know any of these spiritual people that claim to do work, or have knowledge to do work, or that has relationships with deities. So where they on the run for their life for over a year? You're supposed to be able to see exactly who is trying to do you something. How to protect yourself, defend yourself. Yeah, guns are cool. But when you put that motherfucking work in, nigga, that work work, that could see that ain't doing, you don't even need no gun. Y'all better look up New Orleans. What the fuck? This man called this lady a nigga bitch and his head rolled down a motherfucking sidewalk. Quotita, do your homework before you start fucking with people. 